One more uh, error control code, actually family of codes, read Miller codes. Uh, these codes form an important class of cyclic and non-cyclic multiple error correction codes for any integers p and r, where r is less than p and greater or equal zero. There exists a binary rm code of the rth order denoted r m r p with the following parameters a block length n is 2 to the power of p which means the block length the code word length is uh, 2 4 8 16 and so on length of information word is described by this formula and then minimum distance can be described by this formula without any proof uh, we may correct if this distance is greater than two we may correct errors um, described by this uh, equ uh, equation uh, well eventually we may detect detect and correct errors taking these uh, formulas into account read miller codes are described by the generator matrix how this matrix is constructed the first row is the all one code word the next p rows the first order code words form the following sub matrix the lth column of this sub matrix l is from 0 to n minus 1 is the integer l in the binary code first column 0 second column 1 and uh, the last column n minus 1 the next p over two rows the second order code words uh, form sub matrix g2 its code words are logic boolean uh, products of all pairs of the first order words of these words a uh, product of two binary n tuples is a uh, uh, product of, of bits zero multiplied by one is zero only one multiplied by one is one the last rows uh, the earth order code words uh, form the uh, sub matrix g r its code words are products of all combinations of r words of the first order of these words so if we have uh, a variable p and r is equal to zero then we have family of repetition codes for r equal p minus 2 we have a family of uh, self-dual extended Hamming codes for r equal p minus 1 we have a family of single parity check codes for example if p is 3 for r equals zero we have a repetition code a single information bit is repeated q equal eight times uh, obviously the uh, minimum distance described by this formula and then we may say that this co code may correct up to four errors uh, if r is one then we have code extended uh, hamming code self dual extended hamming code uh, that uh, minimum distance is 4 corrects every single error and detects every double error for r equal 2 code is a single parity check code detects uh, well, uh, the minimum distance is uh, 2 code detects every uh, detects but not corrects every single error this is uh, matrix g for code 1 3 so uh, the first row all one row then we have three rows uh, uh, that are binary numbers from 0 to 7 in columns the weight of the first row is 2 to the power of 0 the weight of the last 2 to the power of 2 so this is 0 1 2 3 up to 7 that way we have uh, constructed the full matrix and this is the matrix this matrix describes the self-dual extended Hamming code 84. This term uh, self-duality will be not explained here. This code, please observe, is not a cyclic code. End code reader reader read Miller 23RM23. 
the submatrix of code 1, 3 is constructed and then next three rows are added. Next three rows are products of all pairs of the first order words of these words. Then, for example, these two words, uh, the product of them is presented here. 1, 1 gives 1, 1, 1 gives 1. So this is the code word that added to the previously built matrix these three code words create a code base matrix G. Uh, this uh, matrix G by uh, modulo two additions of rows can be converted to a matrix of this kind as, we, as can be seen um, uh, it is a cyclic code we have uh, a generator polynomial on diagonal this generator polynomial is 1 1 uh, and we have obtained a single parity check cyclic code. And finally, uh, rules of encoding and decoding. Uh, Read Miller codes in non systematic form can be encoded and decoded in different ways. Uh, first of all, uh, the codes, Reader, Reader Miller codes, are described by the generator matrix and generator matrix based encoding can be applied uh, and in decoding MDD uh, minimum distance decoding can be applied. If code is the cyclic one uh, then a polynomial notation based uh, encoding and decoding can be applied. Well, if non-systematic code can be converted into systematic then a parity check matrix based encoding and decoding syndrome based decoding can be applied. This will be not described in discussed in the, in details. Uh, it was definitely the last slide of uh, TIC screencasts. They are all uh, public on the web. If you have found them useful or useless or have noticed some errors, please write a comment. All comments are very welcome.